Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about Bootcamp level developers. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Hi Frederick, I have a Bachelor of IT speciali uh, specializing in programming, a one year software engineering diploma and a one year web development diploma. Generally speaking I got straight A's and got 100% on my capstone project, Angular Laravel web apps for small businesses. I have one paid project under my belt, which was testing and report a testing and reporting system in C sharp. WinForms, my C WinForms, ooh, my SQL, XML, etc., and manufacturer of power devices. It was quite involved, but I only got paid a thousand dollars because all that's all they were willing to spend. Can you please estimate where I might sit in the hierarchy of people who want to enter the software industry? I ha hope I would be considered more than a quote-unquote bootcamp developer. I will never live down using this term. Like uh, it will never, like uh, you will never stop asking me about this because as soon as I say bootcamp level developer, I need to find a better term because I I don't know how to say it in an, any other way. I don't know what term to use to describe this phenomenon. So let me break it down to you. You could at this moment still be a bootcamp level developer in my eyes because although what you describe, you describe to me a junior level uh, software developer. And the term bootcamp level developer doesn't mean that you are a junior or a senior or like that you're not good or that you're self-taught or something like that. When I say that you have a bootcamp level understanding of something or you're a bootcamp level developer, what I refer to is that you have a very shallow understanding of what you're doing you have no real experience doing the thing that you're doing. A boot camp or a crash course or something like that will only give you an introduction to a topic. So an example would be you have one product, which means that you know some C-sharp. Does that mean, like, if I can sit down now with you and I start talking to you about C-sharp and I start to go into depth and I start asking you about, for example, if we're going to talk about polymorphism or we're going to talk about uh, ASP or or like any of the more advanced topics that, uh, or any of the more in-depth topics that is involved in software development. If you have, a, you run a, like you have a Angular and Laravel project on your belt as well, which sort of indicates that, as I said, it's very likely that you are still a bootcamp level developer, but you may not be. Because if I ask you about these sort of topics, the question is, do you have an understanding of the underlying theory? Do you have an understand an in-depth understanding of the tools? Do you actually know how they work? Do you actually know how to fix a problem without going to Stack Overflow immediately and trying to figure out how to do even basic things? This is my problem. This is the thing that a bootcamp level developer has. A bootcamp de level developer is a person who has a very, very, very shallow understanding of the tools that they are using because they've just learned the basics and with your background it's very likely that you also only know the basics and that's not the I mean this can guys this can apply to a person who has 20 years I mean if you ask me right now Frederick can you sit down and make us a uh, I don't know a machine learning algorithm for image uh, uh, or object uh, recognition in images or something like that. I am a bootcamp level developer because I have taken a bootcamp in that. I can write some Python and I can make like I can create a model and train it on some basic data, but I'm not an expert in this. I wouldn't even say that I'm a, senior, a junior. Like I could not I could not take that well maybe because I have experiences in other areas, but I hope that you see what I'm saying. I don't know that to a degree where I could even do a junior level software developer's job in that area, depending of course of what I would have to be doing and so forth. And it's the same thing here, guys. I have had people who come to me who tell me that, well, I, on their CV they write that, oh yeah, I am a React developer, for example. And then I talk to them and the only thing they know how to use is uh, Gatsby. And I go, okay. How long have you been doing this? And it turns out that, as I said, they have self-taught themselves Gatsby, which is just an abstraction tool that basically takes away most of what they will need to, like the actual underlying plumbing, what they would need to know. Like they couldn't even set up the project without this tool. And 
in my space, in the specific company that I work with, they are going to have to know more than that. Because if they don't know that stuff, they're going to sit there and w not be able to actually produce anything until someone comes and helps them to figure out their own tool stack. Which is a problem because it, 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 most companies are willing to teach a person how to work in their specific environment and help you out with, you know, certain things like you know more. Uh, a classic one is um, Webpack. I uh, to, uh, to today like if you want to find a software developer who knows Webpack or something similar to that, it's actually very tricky. Most people have no idea how to work with it. So in a situation like that, okay, it's sort of forgivable that you don't know exactly how to do that and you might might really struggle to figure out how to set it up or how to do like how to do things with it. But it's not okay to be so good to, to, to like to, to uh, how to put it, it it's for most companies it's not going to be okay if you can't basically figure out how to create a variable or how to do like these things that are like considered to be so basic that if you struggle with these things it's hard to even call you a junior software developer because even a junior software developer with some basic training will be able to do these things uh, I usually refer to front end because it's so tangible for people but uh, like if you don't know how to create a class or how you feel uncomfortable creating classes in backend, for example, or if you don't know how to make a, 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 like a layout that is responsive so that it actually fits on a mobile screen, then you are a bootcamp level developer, even if you have a bachelor's degree, because you can't produce at a level that is considered to be industry standard. And this is what I'm talking about. So it really comes down to how much like your your degree doesn't matter guys your your years of experience they do not matter it is all down to the quality of the learning that you have done within a certain area as i said i'm a bootcamp de level, level developer in tons of stuff where i don't really know how to do certain things with certain tools because i haven't had these experiences i'm considered a senior or a mid level or something like that in many many areas but not in all of it and I meet tons of people where, as I've said, they are bootcamp level developers, even after years and years and years of working. And some of them in areas which, as I said, which this is where it gets embarrassing. Having like a low level, like a sort of dabbler's understanding of something and being really good with the stuff that you're actually doing as a profession, that's one thing. But I meet like the thing that shocks me is how many, especially in front end, uh, uh, so-called front-end developers who have literally no idea what they're doing. Like they, it's literally the case where they they cannot actually produce something. That as a classic one is my favorite one is CSS again. They could not create a layout without Bootstrap to save their life. They can't even complete a task that is custom. In other words, they can't create a, a, a interface that looks what, like what the designers want because they're not allowed to use a tool that they completely depend on to do everything for them. That's a bootcamp level developer. So what I want you to take away from this is that I can't rank you based, uh, based on what you told me. You're most likely a uni level software developer. And I can't tell you if that means that you're a bootcamp level developer or not, because I would have to talk to you uh, to figure that out. It would be fairly straightforward for me, because all I have to do is to put you through the same sort of questions I would put to, through any junior software developer. If your speciality is uh, Angular, Laravel, or C Sharp and so forth, we'll go through like all of the different things that I know that you need to know in order to be able to do the job efficiently in these stacks. And I would, of course, also ask you about basic concepts like backend. If in this case it might be backend development, where we will talk about object-oriented programming. When do you use an interface? When do you use an abstract class? Um, what is the solid principles? Uh, MVC. Have you heard about these sorts of things? They, these sorts of theoretical topics that most consider completely like it's day one. Okay, it's like the this is junior level stuff, and then we will see. Do you know these sorts of things, or is it that whenever I ask you about anything that is not something that is like the bare bone basics of a tool, do you like do you choke on everything? Like, do you actually have any in depth knowledge of how, say, in this case, how you work with Angular and filters, for example, or mappings, or how do you structure like an application? How do you spin it up, etc., etc.? How does it actually work? 
these topics uh, is the thing that's going to determine if you have a bootcamp level understanding. And I promise you guys, if you want me to sit here and be, because I have some people sometimes who reach out to me and I can mention like, you're, oh, you think that uh, just because I don't know A, B and C, then I'm not really good. And I go, no, I'm not saying this or that about you. I'm saying that I know usually what is common knowledge for most people who work in the industry. And if you want me to sort of, to, if you want to call me a bootcamp develop, level developer, invite me to one of the channels that do machine learning. And I'll sit there and I will not know a fucking thing about most of it. I might be know a few terms here and there, but I'm not going to sit there and pretend that I'm a master of this stuff just because I'm good at something else. I'm definitely a bootcamp level developer there. I'm basically self taught. And I used to be that way as well, guys. You don't. You don't have to. Like, you're not a bootcamp level developer just because you took. A, uh, you're, you're like self-taught. It's a question of how deep is your understanding of the tools that you actually leverage and the concepts that you use in order to produce something. The reason why this is very important is because when you go out in the real world and do stuff. It's not like the tutorials. It's not these basic things where everything just magically fits together. You actually have to know how things work because in many cases you will face bugs and issues where you have to sit down and figure that out. Trust me when I say this, I've helped more than a few developers figure out how to use their own tools. And the more you learn, the faster and more efficient you're going to be at this stuff. But most companies will consider a basic level a requirement where if you don't know those bare bone basics, then like you're like they can't even hire you for a junior position. Have a great day.